uh, have been relinquishing the experiences from the very first day and um, when I got the email to, to speak today, I was excited because uh, um, ever before, this is just, uh, I feel I'm just at the beginning part of my entrepreneurship journey and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. So moving on, I just want to share a quick, um, um, my own entrepreneurship journey so far, how I was able to go from 10,000 Naira, which is, um, as of today, value is less than uh, $9 or thereabouts to raising a company of um, 5 million naira within a short period of time. And um, I, I started it from 10K to 5 million, our media solution journey. And so it all started on March 2016, uh, when I woke up to something, I lost my partnership, I lost my official card, I lost my official laptop, I lost access to a company profile. And what happened, because I went into that partnership, immediately I left school, I left the university, that's what you to refer to as college. I left the university, served, I was seven when um, more like an angel investor met me and be like, okay, can we start up a company? And I said, okay, fine, good. Um, I, I have all the talents you need. It's actually a media company that is focused in producing films, Nollywood films and all of that, and then doing other media solution uh, based services. And so I was so eager to start because I'm just, come on, I'm just freshly out of university. I just finished seven. Now somebody is feeling close to 40 million grand on, on, on the ground for me. So I jumped on it. Uh, I didn't think about long-term consequences. I didn't think about, I didn't think about the um, lack of uh, proper documentation. I didn't think about um, uh, any of those super work. So I just hopped on the journey. And the next thing that happened to me was uh, after like two years of hard work, I practically, uh, the, the, my partner who was supposed to be a sleeping partner and I was supposed to be more of um, a, a, an active partner, started seeing me as a staff rather than a, as a partner, simply because there was no documentation on the table. Uh, it was just a gentleman agreement. Uh, you're going to do this, uh, you're going to take a certain percentage. And yeah, because I was too naive at the time and I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was supposed to do to make sure I secure that gentleman agreement and all of that. So, looking up that uh, mark, uh, 2016, I discovered that he is no longer having me because he felt that I'm still carrying myself as a partner of the company, but he is already seeing me as a staff. So most of the people I hired as the airport to work, he got them out of the state. So what happened, after I was uh, more like um, booted out of the company, uh, that I, will, I, I am supposed to be a co-founder, I went home um, because one of the things that, 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 that also discouraged me that I seem to be a professional in training, but, but I always tell myself that regardless of how I fail, there's a need to get up. So if I fail six times, I, I tell myself I need to get up the seventh time. So when I got to the house that day, I, I, I took a bottle of wine, had some fun with my, with my fiance and people around, and I was asking myself, why am I always very, 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 um, why do I fail a lot? Why, why do I fail? Why am I a big failure? Why do I have a lot of things I've started? You can see on the screen now. All the companies that started from 2005 to 2004, all of them failed. Ultimate Limited failed, Classic Magazine failed, Ultimate Arts Academy failed, Go for Go Resources failed, Modern Magazine failed, all the ventures I went into. And they failed for different reasons. Sometimes because of inexperience, but other times because I, at some point, I just thought, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to lead, I don't know what to, I don't know what is my left, left line of action. And then I just stopped. And then, uh, being that I get bored, I, I quickly turn off and then I try to refocus into some other things I do. So because I had a lot of failed businesses, I felt I wasn't going to turn out better. And so I, but I had to move to the next thing, which is asking myself the three important, the three important questions that still for me into my um, career today as, as an entrepreneur. And that, those three important questions were, what do I have? Like right now, I've lost everything, but what is it in me that I have? And I remember I read a book, Sam in his book, uh, which says, uh, start with what you have. And I recall that book and I started asking myself, what do I have? What do I have right now that I can actually use to start all over again? And one of the things that came to my mind is that what made the, my, my previous partners to bring me on board wasn't well, because I had an equal equity or equal, equal money to put in the company, but because he saw talent in me, he saw that I have a lot uh, of, of talent in me. 
um, and I said, okay, great, I have talent. And then the next thing is, I now ask myself, how do I now monetize this talent and make it into a company and grow it into a company? And then the last question was, where can I find people to pay me for what I have? And so when I asked these three questions, I was able to come up with an idea. And um, the main reason why uh, these ideas came was because all those other companies have, that have failed, for every time I failed in, in any of those businesses, even when I was in university, I, I try to learn one or two things. It, uh, some, so, like in case of Ultimate uh, Limited, it was a case of recklessness. It was a case of me not knowing the, the, where my boundary were between the funds I'm using to run business and my personal funds. So if, whenever I need funds, I just dip my hands anywhere with funds. If it is my personal business, I just dip my hands and then take the money and run it. So I have already, within this period of saving, I've already been able to come up with that idea that man. Uh, these are the issues you are having, and you have to be able to take care of these issues for you to move on. So what did I do next? I took some important decisions. I took that 10,000 naira. I had 10,000 naira in my account, which was like the last money. So I had to go to Corporate Affairs Commission to register a company. And as a, as a 2016, it was 10,000 naira with a little fraction of um, um, 500 naira for and all of that. So I did the new registration, uh, and then what? After registering, I went to, to open an account. They said I have to pay a particular amount of money to be able to activate the account. And I was like, but you can, you guys can actually open this account for me, uh, uh, then I can pay the money later, right? And they said, yes, I said, fine. Okay, just open the account, I'm going to pay. The honest truth is that at the time I was taking that certificate and those documents and open that office, uh, corporate account, I did not have any money to deposit. I didn't have anything at all. I just knew that from all the experiences I've gathered so far, coupled with the, one, the terrible experience I just had with my immediate partner that I was going to succeed. And then I gave myself a target that I was going to hit, I just casually said that I was going to hit 5 million naira in less than one year from having nothing. And so it looked like a huge challenge, but I, I, I tried to figure out how it's going to happen. Then the first thing I did was, I felt I went here and since for this in the university business, I know and I can practically teach here and film without looking at any textbook, which means I have it all in my head. So I advertised for a training. And if I advertised for that training, I would just go to the next slide so that you see the effect. So it, there was a incorporation, there was training, then there was a production, relocation, training, and production. I'll show you how all this works in two seconds. Now, how it worked out. After the incorporation and opening of uh, an, an official corporate account, the next thing I did was, I did based on social media. I'm someone that is very active, especially on Facebook. I write a lot about PM related things, media related solutions, key on how to do one or two. So, so I've already developed a community of followers that a lot of people on Facebook even inbox me to ask, ask, ask me a lot of things outside uh, my, my business time. So as, uh, people have come to know me on Facebook a lot. And be that also that as a student, I found that the president of the theater department, I have made some connections, which is leveraging also on my network. So I have to start reaching out to all the people that graduated from other universities and tell them, you know, I'm coming up with this training. Please tell your students, tell people, anybody around you, that this training is just for 10,000 naira. And lo and behold, after, after running towards all of this, what I did was I came up with I got to students registered, and that was how I made my first two million naira from not having anything at all. So two hundred students registered for so with ten thousand naira, and I had after that first period, I did another repeat, and I did another repeat. It wasn't the same number consistently, but for a three-time training that I did, I was able to able to raise five million naira for me. And then what I did was when I now noticed that I'm, I was already doing well, I had to start, start planning on relocating to Lagos where, because all of this happened when I was in Enugu state. Those of you in Nigeria know the difference between Enugu and Lagos. So I had to move to Lagos because that's the hub of entertainment and everything you can ever think of. That's the relocation I talked about the last time. And then I felt at this point, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to be managing this alone, that I was going to now, I wasn't going to be managing this alone that I was going to now um, I was going to now get people to work with me and that was how we were able to get to uh, seven people that are currently working with me so it, it all started from a belief in myself that 
the, the least thing I had, which was my, or the, the greatest thing right, right now that I have, which is my talent, can actually be multiplied just by mere sharing information that I, I had learned from school to 200 students, paying a token of 10,000 naira, same equal money that I used to register my company. I had to charge every student that came because I had to split it up because two, I wasn't expect, expecting 200 students. I was expecting like 20 or 10 or thereabout. But when about 200 registered, I had to split it up into different sessions. And that was how we were able to now raise the funds that we were able to now continue to now begin to diversify into other things like uh, creating um, some other products that were created for the company. So it, it started from the belief that, you know what, regardless of whatever thing I had lost, in the in year 2016 that I can actually and and to wrap and to cap it off, I actually made this move in 2016 and I and I was able to raise that fund before the end of 2016. From that was from my company officially was registered in, in April 2016, first April 2016. And before the end of that April 2016, where I was able to raise enough capital for me to now begin to push further. So um, the, the, the thing about, for me personally, what I believe in, 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 in as my personal philosophy in life and, and in my journey in entrepreneurship is if you cannot see the bright side of life, polish the dull side. That has always been my slogan. If you can't see the bright side of, of life, polish the dull side. And so at this point, I would like to say um, thank you very much once more. I hope my story will be able to at least inspire one or two persons who is having very difficulty in you know, raising funds in starting off or at least scaling a bit um, to, to be able to look inwards and begin to look at for what is it that, is in, that I have inside of me that I can put out and then use it to be able to raise funds. Thank you so very much and thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm getting some feedback on the chat feed. Thank you so much for sharing your story and sharing your journey. Um, you, you went a little bit over, so we have time for probably one quick question on the chat feed. Um, are there any quick questions on the chat feed to ask um, our current speaker right now? Any quick question on the chat feed? Any quick questions on the chat feed? So people are giving you a lot of love. <laughs> people like your glasses. Um, and what, so there's one question on the chat feed. Um, what could you change? If you could change one thing, what would you change about the past? Just answer that question and we'll move to the next Great. picture. Great. As long as I don't like depending on the past, but, but if I'm going to change anything from the past, the only thing I would rather change is to document my project, is to make sure that for every, um, uh, uh, for every partnership I go into, I'm able to document it and make sure that I have a legal, a legal document and not just a, a gentleman agreement and having a handshake. Because honestly, I can tell that story today because I succeeded in building a company, but, or I am succeeding because I feel I, I'm just starting. I've not even started. So I'm succeeding in building a company. If, if I had failed and... Hopefully you'll be able to share insights from there. Um,